Hello there, and uh, welcome to March. It's March 1st, and uh, well, I have some kind of sad news. They got me to thinking about something. Um, yesterday, um, Davy Jones, um, lead singer of The Monkees, um, passed away of a um, heart failure. Now, I'm not really here to share necessarily any memories of The Monkees, who I really have no problem with. You know, a lot of people give them a hard time, or they kind of praise them because they're from the 60s, or, you know, or, and not necessarily say anything about his famous appearance on the Brady Bunch, you know, you know, no Marsha Brady, Sparks, or whatever, but, <laughs> um, actually, I do have some thoughts about Davy Jones, and they're kind of about the air as well, as you know, many, 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 many vlogs ago, I, um, invoked William Strauss's, uh, book, Generation, The History of America's Future and which traces the American generations from the original colonists all the way well, to our possible future. And my thoughts on Davy Jones always revolve around one thing, and it's something invariably connected to the 60s to me, and that's youth. Davy Jones was quite short, always looked at least 10 years younger than he was. Uh, even when he appeared in the Brady Bunch, he looked about Marsha Brady's age, and she was a teenager at that time, a high school student. <laughs> There was always something very youthful about Davy Jones. Even the way he sang sounded like a kid. And I think that was part of his appeal, especially with women. He had a very boyish way about him. Now, looking back at the 60s, you know, my parents are from what I call the 60s generation. They were either children or teenagers during the 1960s. And uh, luckily, they aren't enough like the rest of the generation that they belong to, to really be personally affected by what I'm about to say. But I noticed that the spectrum of youth seems to be very, very significant to the 60s generation, in a very positive way, but also in a way that doesn't always accommodate progress. Now, you know, of course I come from a generation, they call it Generation X or 13th generation, whatever, that is just as obsessed with youth but often in a very mournful way, one that I don't personally share, that, oh, well, you know, our youth represents a rejection, and our aging represents a rejection of our youth, rejection, depression, all of that. You know, I call it the 90s stuff, 90s attitude, you know, negativity, where the 60s youth culture was oriented around a lot of positive energy, almost infectious positive energy. But you'll notice in the 60s there was a great obsession with youth. Even the monkeys theme itself talked about we're the young generation, uh, nobody's going to bring us down or whatever it said. And then, you know, um, there was Motown, the sound of young America. Um, there was the um, uh, youth protest, youth rebellion, um, youth movement, youth counterculture, youth everything. Everything was oriented around somebody's youth. And when I think of Davy Jones, I think of youth, and therefore I think of the 60s. And when I looked at some information about Davy Jones on the internet, he spent a lot of time on the nostalgia trip, you know, doing oldies shows, oldies cruises, oldies circuit, you know. He seemed somehow indelibly linked to the 60s, almost like time stopped for him. And I've been noticing that as a lot of the baby boom generation, or people who inspire the baby boom generation, I don't know for sure if Davy Jones was even a baby boomer or not. You know, he may have been the previous generation that that book calls the silent generation, because a lot of the silent generation who were born in the 20s and 30s, you know, they inspired the boomers culturally, the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, all of them, you know, or James Brown or whoever. But um, the fact is, is that I do link him specifically, specifically with that 60s obsession with youth, and now that the 60s generation are starting to feel that they're losing their youth completely, that maybe their hair is getting gray, or they're getting a middle-aged bulge, as it were, or they feel there are lesser years um, ahead than there are behind, you know, or whatever, I think it brings to mind something very important, that we shouldn't take our youth for granted. That's true. But it's also important we not totally define ourselves by it either. Because as people who inspired 
our youth begin to grow old and begin to die like Davy Jones did, you know, might affect us in some less than pleasant ways. And all the positivity and all the infectious enthusiasm of our youth is going to start disappearing and maybe people might even feel like it's not worth living anymore either. So, you know, let's acknowledge our youth, but try to keep a handle on it. I think it's important for my generation as well as the 60s one. So long, Davy Jones. Enjoy yourself in rock and roll heaven or wherever you happen to be. Andre signing out.